Hey guys, I uh, got a new card in today. Simple box. I haven't gotten a PNY card in quite a while. <laughs> no frills with this guy. Holy crap. What the heck? I knew this thing was tiny, but come on. Oh, hell yeah. Got that A4000 to mess with today. No frills, man. Simple. Blower style. Alright, so we're going to get this guy installed. See what we get. Oh, but that side is sexy. NVIDIA. RTX A4000. Cool. Booting up and we shall get into Windows. Gonna move over to desktop and see what we can get. So at this point we're gonna try and salvage this video. I jumped to desktop and didn't record any audio. I was able to get it hashing at 65 mega hash, 120 watts, but I was getting about 88 on the memory. My final overclocks lock in the core at 110. And the memory at 8425 seems to be pretty stable. RTX A4000. Gonna encourage you guys to stick around to the end of the video on this one if you can. It all comes together. You'll see how I get temps like that. Hey guys, gonna be opening up the A4000 today. Warranty void if removed. So I'm gonna open it up, see what kind of thermal pads it has on it. And see if we can drop these temps. Wanna get those down. Not gonna lie. Got a little freaked out trying to take this guy apart. So it was stuck together pretty good with the thermal pads. So I had to kind of press on those two areas to get it to start to separate. And so I got it separated. They got their power wires coming in there. Not quite sure how to get those apart easily. So hoping I can just kind of do these pads with it halfway open. Get this guy put back together as quick as I can. It was stuck on there pretty good. Even the uh, even this tiny little heat sink was stuck on there. But it did give me an idea now that this back plate is off. Just a s simple piece of metal. I wonder if I could fabricate something to try and get a fan in the middle there directly on top of that heat sink. So, but that's for a later date. We're going to just get this guy put back together quick. Be right back. Got the Gilead Extreme 1.0s on there. And like I did with my last card that I was messing with, I did the individual pads. Just so if they're a little too thick, they got some room to spread. And so I'm going to get the backing peeled off here, get this guy put back together. Kind of hard to work on. I didn't want to take these little power connectors off. My fingers are just too fat to try and mess with any of that. So get those peeled off, get this set back on there, get some new paste. Be right back. Did the quick test fit, made a nice smooth layer of the thermal paste and it made contact but this design I really don't think we have too much to worry about if the pads were just a hair too thick. It's a little more forgiving than a 3090. Went with the Noctua NTH1. Finished getting this guy back together. All back together and I just used one millimeter Gilead Extremes just on the memory. I didn't do the VRMs or anything and it's a little scary taking it apart. Those are some very sticky thermal pads they had on there, so just be careful. Don't push from like these areas. It was, once I got this back plate off, there was like two little VRM pieces that I was able to push down on and push the PCB out from away from the uh, heat sink. Gonna get this guy put back in. Be right back. Well, very little change. Still getting 65 mega hash, so we're gonna, we're gonna strap a fan to it. Just so you guys know, I'm not proud of this, but if that's what I got to do to get temps down. So I just pulled off that little cover that's on the front. It's almost like a back plate, but it's on the front. So now I have direct contact with the heat sink, and hopefully that'll bring down some memory temps. Core temps were okay. Uh, I had to steal a fan from the end here, so this guy probably going to start running a little hot. But ML120 fan, got to go good. Alright, <laughs> let's get this stupid thing in there. I'm thinking if this ends up working, I'll probably just disconnect that fan. I can get to it easily underneath the custom fan and just get that unplugged. It's not doing anything for us, so Let's see what we get. Come on! I made it worse. Man. Okay, so I'm going to flip the fan around and see what that does. What do you mean stupid ideas don't work? So that's with it pulling air away from the heat sink. Not really much of a change. Uh, I'm going to throw that cover back on it, put it back to original, and try to come up with a better idea. All right, guys, I'm running out of dumb ideas. This time I threw the little washers on the back side. These little guys, just to give a little extra tension. Don't want too thick, though. You don't want to crush the GPU die. I'm just using these guys, M3s. 
little tiny flat washers so hopefully just a little more tension I took it all apart again just to make sure everything was sitting right the one millimeter pads are working great had great contact with the heat sink so maybe just a little little more tension on there one more time let's go well I'm glad I didn't give up on you guys I got this guy in the green only a few minutes in but temps are way better so this last attempt, I, I took everything apart just to double check that the pads were sitting correctly and making good contact with the heat sink. All looked good. So this time I just made sure that the screws were nice and tight and then added those little washers. I don't know if the washers did it, but there's no dumb extra fans strapped to it. Nothing. It is just basic with fresh pads, fresh paste. So gamer one is offline that means the wife is upstairs getting ready to play rocket league i have to join her so it is my time to go i'll see you guys on the next one and bruh while i was editing the video i had one more dumb idea what if i throw some thermal pads on that guy so it makes contact with this metal heat plate here <gasps> i'm gonna throw some ones on there and see what happens because i don't think it's making any contact right now and so this plate is just passive and that's what actually is touching the memory <gasps> okay guys i'm excited let's try this might be stupid enough to work got the back bracket back on there and broke the tip of my little screwdriver guy so uh yeah i'm thinking 0.5 might have been the right size it was getting a little tough there at the end and i hope it's right because I broke a tip on that guy right there. So yeah, there's dangers in doing this stuff. But I'm going to get it in there and see if it just immediately overheats if that pad was too thick. Yeah, that guy's idling in 40. I haven't even started mining yet. So I'm going to say that it's not making good contact. But it's not immediately overheating. Ugh. Of course, i got to be at work in an hour. Lesson number 423. Don't start a project unless you've got all night for things to go wrong. But I'm going to hit start on this thing. I'm sure it's just going to crash right away, though. Let's go. What do we got? Come on. There it goes. 68 immediately. But that memory is down. Yeah, okay. That was a fail. All right. We're going to take it back apart. We're going to try some .5. Trying the .5s. I did not clean that off. That <laughs> didn't make any contact. So... Yeah, the one was too thick, going for the 0.5, trying to use some scraps up. I've tried to use 0.5s on so many different things and peel them back off that I would like to get them used at some point, but I did waste a whole pack of the one millimeter. So yeah, good times. Let's see if this works. We have contact, guys. Awesome. And I could feel the thermal pad sticking a little bit. See little impressions and stuff. So yeah, we're, we're making contact. Let's get some hashes on this thing and see what happens. Much better idle temps. Let's see what happens when we start mining. Looking at the second card there. Not quite hashing yet. Spooling up. Still the hottest card in there. Okay, we're hashing. The one right below it, that's my 3090 right there. Getting 68 memory. Guy's sitting at 64. Could this dumb thing actually have worked? <gasps> it worked! I was sitting at like 76, 78, so I was in the green. But 68, that's lower than my 3090 now. Hot spot is only a 7 degree difference between the core and the hot spot, so that's good. Okay, we're creeping up to 70. Hashing awesome. Let me readjust this. These are out of order now. 7, 8, 9, 10, 14. Okay, so now the hashes show right. There we go. Much better. So that is the A4000 at 72 degrees, and that is my 3090 at 74 degrees. Core itself is still a little warm compared to the other cards, but, you know, it's a blower style. One space. We're sitting two degrees below the 3090, so I am happy. I'm calling that. I'm calling it. 0.5 gelids underneath the heat sink touching the heat plate. That's the biggest improvement so far. All right, guys, I got to get to work. I'm late. I'm two minutes late, so I got to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do. Getting close to that thousand mark. Hoping to get there before the end of the year. Man, that is so awesome. I'm glad I, I stuck around. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Later.